Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prism Planner. Welcome back for another plan with me. This is my October monthly plan with me. Um, or welcome, you know, to my channel if you're new here. Please subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be, like I said, planning the month of October in my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral Life Planner. And the kit I'm gonna be using is this kit from Wild Summer Designs. It was actually one of her pre-sales back in August, I wanna say. Um so this is, um, yeah, her October monthly kit, and it is foiled. I don't really quite remember what foil color this is. It looks almost like an orangey rose gold to me. Uh, definitely not a regular gold, but I don't even honestly remember what color the foil is. But it's super pretty, so <laughs> this is the kit I'm using. It is on glossy paper because when Wild Summer Designs does foil, she does not do it on her usual premium matte. She does it on glossy, so... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, everything that I use in this um, monthly plan with me is going to be linked in the description down below. So if you just, you know, want a link for Wild Summer Designs or for the whiteout I use or any of the tools I use, that is all linked down below. So check down there or leave me a comment and just ask me and I'm happy to answer. Um, so I'm going to start with my whiteout using the Tombow Mono Correction Hybrid Style Whiteout. Um, just to wipe the month out because it, it is kind of dark, you know, I mean, it might not show through, it probably wouldn't, but I just don't like to chance it because I don't like seeing things showing through on the other side of the sticker. So then I'm just going to go ahead and take this. I was going to take this little tiny box. I was trying to decide uh, which box I wanted to go in Sunday because that is part of September. But then I was trying to show you guys that there's that long strip that goes down there for um, the days that are, you know, not in October. Um, and so that's why I was trying to decide which of those boxes I would put in the little Sunday spot for that, um, you know, last day of September. And I decided on the books um, or sorry, book <laughs> with the glasses. So I just carefully lined that up um, to the edge of the dots and then whited out the um, days. The whiteout was giving me a little trouble here um, when I was trying to, you know, drag it because um, it was almost out. Once it starts getting low, it kind of gives you a little resistance. Um, and I actually did run out of it <laughs> during this plan with me, so you'll see that. Anyway, so now that those are all whited out and the little moons too, because I don't really pay attention to those, um, I'm just going to carefully line up the very top of the, you know, strip with the pumpkins and stuff. I just use that, that box on Sunday. It kind of is a guide um, to line it up to uh, since there's no other like lines or anything. Um, and then it's a very sad. See, here's where it ran out. I was showing you, you can see the blue and the red strip. So anyways, I went and got more. Um, but yeah, I just find it like so satisfying to get that gigantic sticker and, and you know, off. You just like so, just put it all down in one piece. It's like, I don't know, I like it. Anyways, and then I was wetting those out um, the days again. And I wetted out the little dots too, because when I was putting that, that uh, the sticker down, I was like, oh, I can kind of see the dots. So it is a little bit annoying because I can see them on the other side of the planner, but like whatever, just ignore it. Um... Anyways, also, this one was a little bit harder to line up because as you can see, I don't have a box to line it up to. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, you know, am I too far to the left? Am I too far to the right? Am I crooked? You know, like is the left side the same as the right? So I kind of zoomed out to look and it looked okay to me. So um, we're just going to go with it. <laughs> and um, anyways, yeah. So then I took this big old strip right here that goes at the bottom of October since those days down there um, are actually the days that are in November since October ends on a Wednesday. And I'm sorry about that noise. That's my dog. If you can hear that, my dog is always in my videos. <laughs> okay, y'all, I put him outside. So hopefully he's not gonna be making any more noise. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the sidebar. Um, and I was gonna, you know, just plop them down. But then I was like, Oh, I think the lines can show through. So um, I did have to tilt it to the side so I could line it up to the very edge of, you know, the big strip at the top but um yeah I don't know I just I was kind of you know I was kind of going about do, doing my thing and then I was like oh the lines see it didn't really show too bad on like the pink but you could kind of see them on the orange and it just bothers me <laughs> so anyways so anyways uh yeah I just whited those out and normally I have trouble using my sidebar in the monthlies I honestly like don't know what to put in there you know, like I've seen some people put like the chores they want to do that month or like their monthly goals. But like, 
I already, um, like if you see in my personal planner setup video, I kind of already have places for that in my personal planner. So I find it repetitive to put it also in my monthly, um, you know, like I do keep track of my monthly bills and my monthly to do's actually, yeah, I do have all those things. Like I just said in my personal planner already. So I don't find a need to put that in my Erin Condren, but however, I have decided <laughs> I'm going to use my sidebar this month for my bills. So um, you won't be seeing the bill dues stickers in um, this plan with me. And that's just because I felt like with all the events and all my school stuff and like stuff like, you know, like shop events or shop sales or new releases that I want to put in here or like even, you know, stuff with my son, all this stuff was going in my monthly. Like I use my monthly. I, I see people do the monthly plan with me and they're like, I don't use my monthly. Like I never do it. And I'm like, girl, what? Like I use my monthly. I need my monthly possibly more than my weekly sometimes, honestly. Um, but yeah, I just, I, it gets lost, you know? And like, plus sometimes the kids don't even have enough bill dues for all the bills that I have. And I'm like, you know, putting them on like little things or scallops instead. And it's just like, ugh, this is inconsistent. And then my brain is looking for consistent and it just gets mixed up and I don't want to like pay a bill late. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I didn't see it in all the like jumble or something. I don't know whatever. So anyways, this month is new for me. Like I said, this is, um, I've said before, if you're new here, this is my first Erin Condren. Um, so I, you know, I just, this is my first time ever using one and I'm still getting used to my planning style and, you know, figuring out what works for me. So I'm trying new things. Uh, so my bills are going to be in the sidebar since I have a long list of bills anyway. Um, moving on, I'm using these cute little appointment labels and, um, I love that Wild Summer Designs gives me so many because I'm using them for my school, uh, assignments or quizzes or exams that are due. And that's why I'm keeping them the same color the whole way down because, you know, I have due dates Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, and, you know, and it's this, they never change. It's the same class. You know, this class is always due every Tuesday. This class is every Wednesday, this class every Thursday, whatever. So you get the picture. It's easier for me to kind of color code it or color block it, you know, like, um, so that way every class for Tuesday is that brown color, you know, every class for Wednesday is orange. And then every class for Thursday is this pink color. So I just go about doing that first since I have all of my little assignments and um, quizzes or, or um, homework, whatever, stuff like that. I had to do that one upside down, though, because I wanted to line it up against those dots and it was kind of hard to do it um, with nothing being on the left side of the box on Thursday. So I was doing this one upside down. So once I have my school, um, you know, assignments, uh, down, I'm going to move on to the day by day, <laughs> if you can call that the day by day, <laughs> um, starting on October 5th, um, I do have breakfast with books at my son's school. They just kind of do this thing where, um, you come in like extra early and, um, have breakfast with your kid and then they read a book, like the teacher or somebody, I don't know. I've never gone, honestly. I just know kind of what it's about, but we're going to try to go. <laughs> I've never gone just because my son always wants me to go, but I'm like, mommy's tired. So I'm going to really try to go. Um, and then on the 6th, we have a Home Depot workshop because the, um, uh, the Home Depot does like these free kids workshops like once a month. So, um, it's something like fire safety month on October. And so we're going to be doing like this little build your own fire boat and then they build it with woods and it's free and they give the kids everything they need. So definitely if you have a kid, go check it out if your Home Depot does it. Um, cause it's, it's fun. We enjoy it. Moving on to, um, the 18th, I'm looking for a box to use because I have, um, let's see, what do we have on the 18th? Oh, so my son has a, a doctor's appointment and, um, there, I didn't want to use those scallops cause, um, I don't know. I was trying to be a little consistent with the scallops and I just decided I didn't want to use the scallops. So whatever. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, so my son has a doctor's appointment. Um, so I use a little at sign so I could write his time, the time in, um, that he has the appointment at. <laughs> and also I'm going to be chaperoning a field trip, um, 
for his, you know, at his school. So that's going to be interesting because I've also never chaperoned it before. Um, so wish me luck. <laughs> so anyway, um, I used the little brown stethoscope icon um, to mark my doctor, my son's doctor appointment. And then I kind of just felt like that little asterisk box was just like not straight. So I was kind of playing around with that um, to get it straight. But anyway, so that little box was for the chaperoning. Um, anyways, <laughs> moving on, um, the 22nd, um, I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm using another one of those little at symbols just to, you know, keep it consistent. Um, unfortunately there was only one stethoscope and I kind of just didn't really want to bring anything in from my stash. So I just chose the little alarm clock icon cause you know, right? Like you gotta be there on time. I don't know, whatever made sense, right? A little bit. It's a stretch, <laughs> but anyway. So next I wanna go ahead and mark Happy Halloween, but I already know that the scallops that come in the kit um, are not big enough for the Rose Color Days uh, holiday words So um, from previous experience. <laughs> so I'm taking the Rose Color Days holiday words. This is from an Oops grab bag that I got a long time ago. These are not foiled. I just kinda, of, so there's nothing else really wrong with them. So I just kinda of hang on with them, cause I mean I could foil them if I had a mink, cause they're already printed with laser printer. But I don't, so I just use them for, I don't know, random times when I want to put a holiday down, but you know, maybe I don't, I want to save the foiled ones for like a pretty spread. So this is a perfect time. I'm just putting in a happy Halloween on Halloween. And that half box is actually a leftover kit or leftover from a kit from Sticker Insanity. Um, so it was perfect because I had the pretty little pumpkins in there. So um, I used that because again, the uh, scallops that come in the Wildsman Designs kit um, are not big enough. And I know that because, was it September? Let me double check. Yeah, because in September there was Labor Day. And so I used, um, you know, Rose Color Day's Labor Day uh, sticker and it didn't fit and it looked really weird. So I knew I was going to need a half box. So Sticker Insanity came to the rescue. So anyway, I'm just going to get these dates down. I'm going to skip through this so you guys don't have to watch it. Um, and then we'll be back. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty. So now that all of the little date dots are down, I remembered um, because I looked in the front of my planner where the like year, year to glance is. Um, the 26th, they do not have school. What am I talking about? The 26th, my son does not have school because it is Nevada Day. Um, fun fact, actually, Nevada Day is the 31st, actually, aka Halloween, but the school celebrated on the last Friday of the month, so they get a long weekend. <laughs> so that is Nevada Day. Um, anyway, so I'm taking these no school scripts from Rose Color Days in the beautiful gold foil. And that's not on, tra on transparent paper. And I knew that those are small, so those will fit in the scallops. So I'm just putting no school on the 26th. Um, and then I have a few of these little leftover, like, you know, boxes um, from the kit. And I kind of forgot to put them, you know, somewhere before uh, putting the dots down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to lift up the dots and then, you know, find some cute little spaces for these full boxes. Um, and I really like the layout I did them in because I didn't want, like, too much of the nature-y ones towards the bottom because the bottom had the leaves and stuff. But then I didn't want too many of the, like uh indoor ones um up at the top um because that's where the top is you know I already have the books too so I put the shoes you know away from the bottom washi and then the woods kind of close but like not super close and then the like sweaters are you know like far away and then the pumpkins are also in the opposite corner so I really like the placement of the full boxes for uh the spread well, anyway, so those are the full boxes. I just used my little X-Acto knife to lift up the stickers. Um, I didn't really didn't want to bring out the undo, and it works just fine because uh, glossy tends to be, you know, not as quite as sticky as premium matte, so uh, that worked just fine. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to talk to y'all. Please subscribe if you're not already and you'd like to see more. Here is the finished uh, spread with all the foil. And I'm just going to hold on to the leftovers because I might need to use them for, you know, the rest of the month or whatever. Here's just the leftovers um, in the kit. Um, but yeah, definitely please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe if you're not already. Definitely go follow me on Insta if you want to see um, more from me as well on there. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my you know videos and subscribing and commenting and liking um, and supporting me. Thank you so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope to catch you in next week's video. Take care, y'all. Bye.